Hi everybody, Dale Campbell here at Don Johnson Motors in Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Today I'd like to tell you about our 2018 Chevrolet Silverado. This is a Z71 crew cab. Great looking truck. I really like how the Z71 gives you the body colored grill, front bumper, rear bumper. It's just a great looking truck. It's in Cajun red tint coat as you can see. And of course it has the LED daytime driving lights. Those are very good looking when you're driving down the road, very distinctive. Got LED fog lamps and of course the projector beam headlamps to give you good bright light as you're driving down the road at night. See the body colored mirror caps look good along with the door handles. Chrome Silverado badging on the side of the doors look really nice. And those 18 inch wheels with all season um, white letter tires. Let's check out the inside. It's got jet black cloth interior. Uh, 40 20 40 front bench seat passenger seat of course reclines center armrest does go up so guests can sit there it also has the armrest that you can open up there's a couple usb ports in there an input for an ipod and a 12 volt power outlet we can put it up as i just mentioned guests can sit there that way and we can open the rear seat bay or the front seat base a little extra storage down in there for you that is a lockable compartment so Put different things in there that you might like to have secured. Move on now as I put this stuff back. We'll move on to the heater control and the radio and other features that we have in this vehicle. So it does have the convenience package that gives us the adjustable pedals. That switches over here on the far side here. The traction control off, the rear cargo lights, it's on because the light's on. I'll show you a little more about that when we get to the back of the truck ultrasonic rear park assist and then the hill descent control the hill descent will help you uh, when you're going down hills with trailers on there just helps hold the, the uh, speed from rolling up from gravity the dual ultrasonic climate con or dual climate control it's not ultrasonic it's just dual climate control so the passenger and the driver both have the benefit of adjusting the temperature for their comfort and of course choosing where the air blows or using the auto system is all at your discretion and of course we've got heated front seats, drivers and passenger, both the switch are there for the passenger side, the drivers of course on the driver's side. We do still have a CD player in this vehicle, slots right here, then it's the, the MyLink color touch screen. Sorry those icons are a little bright right now, can't hardly get them to show the correct way, but the upper left corner is your, your audio where you can press that and have the radio dis display screen, um, and the phone beside it, so we can pair up to five phones um, for using hands-free calling. We've got a projection screen here, that's this one right here, and that of course will bring up Apple CarPlay or Android Auto if you have an Apple or an Android phone. Navigation, that doesn't, doesn't put nav up in this, it'll just put the compass, you can get the nav though off from your, uh, again off from your um, Apple or Android phone when it's connected. Shop, we'll go through that when you stop in. The OnStar buttons, a duplication of the OnStar buttons on the bottom of the rearview mirror. The texting is because you can get hands-free texting with the truck. Again, providing your phone has the capability of offering that for you. And then, of course, the settings. We'll go through all the features that are in the settings. There's quite a few there. Down below here, below the, I realize this dark interior, you can't hardly see it, but there is a 12-volt power outlet here, and there's a 110 volt that's right down here. There's a storage pocket that does drop open. A uh, nice little thing there. It's where the ashtray used to be back in the years gone past. Um, so nice little storage area. And we've got a couple glove boxes here on the right-hand side. The top one's lockable, another USB port in there, and then the bottom where you typically have your book and owner's manuals and things like that. Lots of storage in the drivers and passenger and all of the doors. Just a couple more bottle holders here, along with a pocket, another pocket there. And as you saw, there's already three cup holders just in the top of the armrest all by itself besides the other spots to maybe put cell phones or so forth. We'll make our way now to the back seat. Um, we did it. We did include in this truck the GM floor liners. You see that on the floor here. We'll put the front two in when you drive the vehicle and take it home. The seats do fold up 60-40. As you can see, we've got the passenger side up. That is the 40 side. The 60 is on the drivers. I'm going to put that down so you can see it a little better. There's an armrest here. It does fold down for your guests in the back seat. And another part of that convenience package here at the back seat is the power sliding rear window. It also has home link, so you can program up to three different garage door openers. That's up in the in the front overhead. So we'll make our way now to the back of the truck. This is a 5.8 box. Of course, have that nice guard on top of the box so you don't scratch it. The Z71, as I've already mentioned. There's those mud flaps, corner steps, make it easier to get in and out of that truck box. 
two inch receiver. Again, flat four in the round seven trailer wires. Ultrasonic rear sensors, those are the little sensors you see in the rear bumper. Four of them, two on the right, two on the left. Got the backup camera in the bottom of that tailgate handle. We can open that tailgate, it's got the nice easy lower tailgate. I'm just gonna pull it, step back, watch that gate come down now. I was gonna show you again how it has the cargo lights. So there's two shining at the back of the cab, then we've got the under rail box lights. So as you can see, they're tucked up out of the way, but yet, um, at night, it really gives additional light in here, and if you were to put a tunnel cover on that box, that upper light wouldn't do any good, where these under the rails really help you get a good view of what's inside the box. Make our way now to the driver's side. Really, it's, you know, it's a good looking truck. That Cajun red is really sharp, especially when the door handles and the body side moldings blend to that color. Run capless on the fuel tank, guys and gals. No worry to take the cap off or forget to put that back on. All you gotta do is put your gas in, close the door, and drive away. Of course, you probably should pay for that gas too, right? Inside the driver's door now, of course, more pockets as I'd shown you on the passenger front door. But then, of course, we've got the lock switches for the, the rear, um, rear door handles and rear windows. The express down on all four windows. The driver's has express up when you close it door lock switch, the mirror, whether you're going to adjust the right side or the left side, and then an adjustment switch. Taking our way up to the dash now, we do have the integrated trailer brake for you. If you're pulling a trailer, it's just set up your, your gain with that. You'll see the readout in the driver's information center when you do that. It's got the uh, automatic 4x4 here. You can turn that from too high to auto to 4 high when you're driving. 4 lower, of course, you have to be stopped, foot on the brake, transmission in neutral. Automatic headlamps, remember they come on for you at night as you need them. Press the center to turn on those fog lights I showed you earlier. Cruise control is here on the left side of the steering wheel. The voice activation switches and phone call buttons are all here on the right hand side. We'll go through how those work with you when you stop in. It really is a comfortable, easy vehicle to use with the hands free phone calls, hands free voice activated um, changing radio stations, and so forth. Of course, it's equipped with OnStar. And we'll help you with that, get you going with that. Get the, the, um, the My Chevrolet app downloaded on your smartphone. You'll be able to start this truck remotely or lock the doors and make the horn sound and so forth like that. We'll go through all that with you. It's got Wi-Fi capability. We'll help you with that. And then don't forget to ask us about the, the new My GM loyalty rewards. We'll go through that with you also. So 2018 Chevrolet Silverado pickup, uh, Cajun red tin coat, the Z71. If you have any questions about this truck, give myself a call. It's Dale Campbell. You can reach me here at Don Johnson Motors at 715-475-1414. Thanks for stopping by.